Today I'm honored to speak to Ed Schein, who's a senior professor, now a professor emeritus at MIT. Good afternoon, Ed. Good afternoon. You wrote, and it's now in your fourth edition of Corporate Culture, it's something that you were one of the pioneers in. What is your thinking these days about the importance of co corporate culture, and can we or should we try to change it? The, the real answer to that is that corporate culture is, I think, no longer the relevant topic. I think the relevant topic is macro culture, nations, occupations, corporate culture, where all these nationalities and occupations play out, and microcultures, where you have uh, problems in the operating room, in teamwork, because you've got multinationals, people from different occupations that are cultures, all interplaying. So in this last edition of the book, I'm emphasizing that we have to take culture at a much more general level and look at both occupational cultures and national cultures and how they play out in the corporate cultures. We've always, you know, we recognize that a, a doctor views the world different than a nurse often, that a, a manufacturing engineer looks at different than a finance person. So you're saying that these things are really critical I'm saying that we have under, we haven't understood that these are occupational cultures that are themselves very strong. And therefore, to help leaders deal with multicultural teams, which is where it's going to be at, two things have to happen. Leaders have to become much more humble and learn how to seek help, because the subordinates under them will be much more knowledgeable than they. And secondly, leaders will have to create cultural islands where people from different occupational and national cultures can suspend some of the rules and talk to each other more directly, for example, about how they view trust, how they view authority, how they deal with bosses who make mistakes. If, if leaders can't create those kinds of cultural islands, they won't be able to create teams that can actually work. So if I'm a, a young MBA starting out, what are the skills I need to learn in order to be successful in this world you're talking about? Well, the obvious answer is you need to become culturally literate, not by reading about different cultures, but by traveling more, uh, visiting more different uh, occupational groups. Uh, maybe a young doctor ought to spend much more time uh, in a nursing school and see what they do and uh, when people say how do you get broadened it's by traveling but traveling not just physically but also psychologically